Okay, we need to know where it's going. Please stop. I keep accidentally flying. You think I can just shoot it? I wonder if just said something about how I should handle this. Appreciate that it came back where I was. Uh, there's more. These enemies. This is not dead letter anymore. I don't think this counts either. Probably just all in. Didn't I watch this one? I didn't realize these TVs would go back on. Wasn't this like the first one I saw? All right, kill his cards. So, like, I mean, it's specifically in Dead Letter, so it has to be around here somewhere. I would assume. Ah. Can't go that way. Like, stuff I can climb up onto? Maybe. That looks pretty climbable. That might be what I need to do. It looks hard to climb. Oh yeah, but it's absolutely climbable. Um, it sounded like from what Just said, it's just a matter of knowing the places it can spawn and just hoping. Thanks for the recent smoking ban in my state. I am happy to inform you I will not be voting for you in the next election. As everyone knows, smoking is being banned because the smoke is toxic to the aliens that the government sold our planet to in a secret deal. If humans keep smoking, the aliens won't be able to live on Earth. Our air would be poison to them. 
your government traders can't stop people from smoking, then you won't get your millions of dollars from the aliens. I have a website. People know what's going on. We're going to keep smoking no matter what. This is a national emergency. Politicians are handing the planet over to alien overlords. We won't let you. We will resist. I will smoke forever. Sign a proud smoker rebel patriot. Kind of forgot what um, department we were in. So that letter confused me a little bit. Oh, thank God. I was going to be upset if I didn't have access. Dear gentlemen of the Society of Sciences, it has been some time since I sent my initial letter. I hope it is not the case that you have dismissed my claims outright. In that hope, I am writing you to once more ask uh, for your help in understanding the oddity that has befallen me in my home. I have recently begun renting a new apartment in the city. The space is nothing special, though for a time I found the isolation quite soothing. Recently, I have begun experiencing a strange occurrence. When I am in my kitchen, a tiny little thing with not much a tiny little thing with not much but a sink, I sometimes lose myself. Okay, the kitchen's small. My surroundings change. I find myself standing on strange dark stone. I stare out at a colorless sky as white as undisturbed snow, terrified of moving. Perhaps this is a brain issue? I think not, as it feels terribly real. This has been occurring for some months now, and I have become frightened of entering the kitchen. If it's not too much of an inconvenience, I would dearly appreciate a visit from one of your professionals to see what they make of it. I await your response with little expectation, but with great hope, very truly yours, Lorraine Fitzgerald. Also not a letter that I need. I need to just go up another layer. What is that? Oh, the projector. Go up these layers. A lot of secrets this way. Is this what I picked up about a cat? My clock is shaped like a cat and its eyes move and I think it's angry, but I keep apologizing and it won't stop. But I said, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. But it won't leave me alone and I don't know what it wants. I can't keep apologizing for, do you see it now too it told me everyone is here and i need it to be careful so they don't see me writing this letter it wants me to stay with it with my eyes on its eyes I'm moving very fast but i can't keep going or and i worry they will forget about me so i need to write everyone about this because i cannot keep going about the cat will because of its eyes that was cool i like spooky cat So I'm assuming, um, the Japanese paper lantern I can't really do anything about right now, because that's like in a different zone. I'm a plaid suit in a pinstripe world, I'm a plaid suit in a pinstripe world, plaid suit, pinstripe, plaid suit, uh, plural world. Why is some of it blacked out? I'm skimming. It looks like it's all the same stuff but i'm not gonna read through the whole thing just to see if any of it was different besides what was already blanked out and nothing over there didn't quite realize just how tall dead letter society was I was over there. Our whereabouts. Hey, you have questions and the prophets have your answers. If you're truly intrigued, watch the time. We've lost about 45 days in the past four years. The shortening of days. This is why the Vatican is a sundial and also simultaneously a keyhole. Another thing while I'm here. If you want the secret to everything, compare plasma next to brain cells. The sun plus moon are composed of plasma. Simply light, not planets. After this is cemented in your psyche, ponder the current whereabouts of where you and I 
You, I, and humanity resides. Cheers. Okay, we need to know where it's gonna end up. I think Sealed Threshold Hall was somewhere we haven't been yet. It could all be in containment. Just fill to the brim with mail. dreams. Oh, that's a long one. To the esteemed members of the American Psychiatric Council, I'm writing you this inquiry about the significance of dreams in relation to one's mental health. I'm aware that there are many books supporting, purporting to contain the true meanings of dreams, but I have reservations about their legitimacy. I understand that this is not usually done, but if I would greatly appreciate your thoughts on my condition. Ever since I was young, I have had intensively vivid dreams. They only occur sporadically, but in them I witness very strange events. I understand dreams can seem real at the time, but these really feel remarkably, markedly different. They do not occur often, perhaps only one or two a year. Last night I had one. I saw a small empty town. It was utterly dark. There was a lake at its center. Shadows of people moved around me, muttering odd things. Bright light woke me up. I was screaming in my sleep. My wife had been shaking me for minutes before I awoke. Because of this recent incident, I have decided to seek help. The doctor says I am physically fine, but I wanted to consult your expertise. Thank you for your valuable time. Yours very sincerely, Richard Boker. Boker? Pierce aimed fire boost. Why is the music getting a little weird? Uh, just damage while aiming. I mean, that's how you use that gun. You aim. Okay, so I think we are done here. Right, I finally did one of these. Got a health boost. Very good. Mold, kill mold hosts in the research center. I mean... Probably gonna be doing anything in the research center anytime soon, I don't think. Using shatter kill enemies in the containment sector. That I can do. Um... I wanna look real quick. I think I'm gonna head back because, you know, Dylan's there. I might wanna do that. Oh yeah, one of them... Yeah, the lantern is absolutely something I can't do anything about right now. So, we'll worry about that later. Let's, um, see what the deal is with Dylan. It's been like a hot minute. I do need to find that traffic light, but if I can't even complete the quest, we might as well not worry about it right now. We'll do the Muldo. But I want to mainly see if I get any clearance for doing this. I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Anyway, not the point. My old ranger squad was a great bunch. There was six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hepton, Stone, and Thompson. So many side quests. We were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had beers and wings planned. Problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the hiss. You see, they prep for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck, and I really don't want the hiss to get them. Could you find them for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish, and I won't let them stay his. Is that all new? What's the deal with Blackrock? Oh, fuck. Don't get me started on Blackrock. You know, ever since research found out that it blocks paranatural stuff, they have just been parading dangerous materials in and out of the fucking quarry. <sighs> fucking lab coats, man. They're making my job harder. Sounds like there's some tension between departments. 
Still, at least the quarry's got a good view of the night sky. You know, me and Salvador used to have after work beers down there. But is it like really the night sky? I, I feel like what it isn't, you know but about whatever. Dr. Darling? Uh, I, about as much as anybody, I guess. Head of research, loves to hear himself talk. All of those science types absolutely do. Uh, now he's been acting a little bit psycho recently. Although HR told me not to use that word, so. Everyone thinks finding Darling will lead us to the answers. But if he's completely lost it, then what help could he be? You're security, right? Do you work with rangers? Not often. Rangers are specially trained in threshold reconnaissance and ground zero AWE response. Security is more interested in the dangers inside the Bureau. They must see some weird stuff out there. Oh, yeah. Definitely. You know, every week they are tackling things that were previously unknown to the human experience. Most rangers, they retire due to cognitive collapse. I looked up the medical definition. Not fun. How does the Bureau handle thresholds? Handle might be a bit of an optimistic way to put it. Um, Marshall sends the rangers in to map them, check growth rates, locate epicenters, take samples, measure stuff, basically. Sounds like he's done his homework. Now, down to maintenance, thresholds are used just like any other tool. Lab coats mine black rock from one, maintenance siphons water from another. We use it for pretty much everything, except drinking. Why don't you drink it? Do I even want to know? Uh, yeah, a lot of time we find these little chunks in it. It's uh, pretty gross. I didn't want to know. I need to know. What do you though. think of Marshall? Marshall? Marshall's a fucking badass. Rangers could not ask for a better leader. I mean, have you seen her she's coat? Little, uh, you know, intense, but given the stuff she's seen, I'm not surprised. She does have a bad habit of disappearing, though. Where does she go? Uh, last time she vanished, I did some digging into the security logs. I found camera footage of her entering the quarry. She was down there alone for days. Now, typically that's not allowed, but Marshall is kind of above the rules. I wonder what she finds so interesting in the quarry. What does she know? I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. I, you can just sit here. Don't act busy. I saw the, um... The, like, indicator that there was something to interact with when I went to talk to him. Based on the success of American Overnight, we would like to propose the creation of a television series that presents superstitious and skeptical thought as entertainment. In order to popularize these concepts among the civilian population and create a less resistance to redirecting information regarding public paranatural events. So that's why Twilight Zone was made. We can also use a solid media outlet to test paranatural concepts or on civilian audiences, seeing how they react to certain facts, present it as fiction, and the events that the Bureau ever decides to make certain realities public knowledge. There are various show licenses that we could purchase and reboot, rather than starting from scratch. One particular property seems promising, especially considering its content and tone are precisely what we're looking for. It's called Night Springs, and has been off the air for a few years now. I guess they wanted to reboot it to do this again. Oh, I probably have information on the hand. Let's go, hand chair. Uh, kept in isolation, removed from other unsecured objects under no circumstances. Yeah, I would be saddened. Classic seat shaped like a human hand from the 1960s. The hand's palm forms a seat with the fingers acting as the chair back. The item affects gravitational forces, attracting and repelling objects near itself with a force of. Its fingers have also been observed to change position, though too quickly to be witnessed on or filmed. The item may be changing forms rather than moving. The item only displays these effects during full moons. Sample analysis confirms that it contains human genetic materials. Found in a warehouse at mm, Albany, a team of ranger trainees, accompanied by an experimental field agent, were dispatched to investigate local rumors when they encountered the item. They successfully retrieved the item, see case for detail. Oops, the letter. I need to read about the letter. Love you, love you, love you, love you. Depresses the item's effects from Blackrock. Stack of four envelopes, each containing a single page of paper. All four letters are illegible due to extreme water damage. The envelopes curiously do not show any signs of such damage and are covered in messages of love. The items are able to move short distances at a pace of less than mm -hmm, and always in a direction. This is the first altered item to have multiple separate parts, a fact previously believed to be impossible in impossibility by blah. 
A proposal to take the items outside of the oldest house and follow their movements to its final destination is under consideration with the budget committee. See file for detail. Items was found in the dead letters archives with the herd archivist found it attempting to escape a filing cabinet. She reports having no record of the items in her archive of letters. The mold. Hey, that's that guy. That's the dude in the fridge. I don't think there would be anything else new, would there? Lots of interesting data off that subject the ranger brought in. I heard that he voluntarily went to captivity. I suppose so. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Are you okay? I think she's having a rough time. Oh, these are just the one everyone that's tired. Is this like the relaxing booth? Oh. Yeah, I guess it is. Uh, notice that the shadows are all gone. Which I can only assume meant that it was a weird graphical thing. And was not actually supposed to be that way. But to be fair... Lots of errors on this I already listened to that, right? This is Lynn Salvador, head of yeah, apparently you're dead. Anyone chilling down here yet? No one cares. Radio. Alright, Dylan. Actually, how are they containing... Ah. Okay. Can't fly in there? Oh, I have to ask about the jukebox. Oh. I got a little too excited. I found this token. Any idea what it does? Ah, that is a jukebox token. Little bastards turn up in the weirdest places, like bad pennies. The rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. Does it have any good songs? Nope, just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? That sounds ominous. Why does it send you there? Well, the Bureau has been wondering that for years. I mean... It's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. Well, no one's ever been able to map the physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry. You just don't know where. Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation now. Checkups, Salvador calls them. This year's team went in the day the hiss arrived. Come to think of it, the song should have run back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Just put in the token and enjoy the ride. Okay. I'm I sorry, can't. Dylan. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. I've got places to be. Constructed at control points or earned through bureau alerts. Maybe I won't right now. That sounds like it's like a whole other thing that I'm not sure I was prepared for. Get rid of trees. If like I have to construct tokens, that doesn't, I don't know, that just sounds a little. Just can't, can't say it sounds fun to me. Maybe it would be better for me to, like, look into... God, look at all these things. These guys should... This cryptic guy. So many of them. Uh, and those containments keep happening. Okay, Dylan, I'm sorry. Also a new note. 
Where's Dylan? To examine the invasion's timeline of events for possible patterns in his behavior, establishing a timeline is difficult to, at present because of a lack of reliable communications between bureau sectors and staff. Preliminary models indicate ground zero of the invasion is located within the executive sector. Once it became possible to interview surviving personnel, pinpointing the exact location should be feasible. Other outstanding questions that a timeline may help answer. How did the HIS get past the internal lockdown? How does his residence advance through space deliberately or ununiformly? What is their ultimate goal? The outside world? A cross-dimensional destination? A refer to file? We don't know anything. New note. Don't know where Dylan went. We understand the hiss to be a first based on vibration and resonance, then perhaps their incantation, which is now the agreed upon term for their vocalizations, is an effort to express that resonance using human vocal cords and speech. Would there be differences if the incantation were recited in a different language? The most common word used is want. Interestingly, every usage of the word attributed to a you, you want to listen, you want this to be true, you must want these waves to drag you away. Are we the you the hiss are referring to? Does the hiss believe humanity, possibly all non-hiss life, wants to join it? To be consumed by it? Is that its goal? The second most used word uh, or through and time. Is this possibly the hiss stating how they arrived here or an indication of its age? There's clearly intentions of the words dismissing the incantation as nonsense. As some of my colleagues recommend is beyond idiotic. Refer to the file. All right, I'm here. Where'd you put my boy? No, it's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. Oh, but am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. What's the name of the game? I want to see him. My brother. Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse. Be careful. Yeah, you know, after all these years. I think that was all. I should be going. Already Enjoy talked about. Oh, I will. Okay. Did you hear that the best prisoner they captured? Guessing in here. Hmm. Well, that's a setup. Through a mirror of the universe, just make right. You are a worm through time. The thunders come to distorts you. Happiness comes, white pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror of the inverted is Look how happy she is. You're inside the bright door. Push the thing through the surface into the wet. You've always been in your huge voice. It's true. We stand around you while you train. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. Through time, the thunders come to distorts you. Happiness comes, white pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Before I, uh, do what your deal is, I just want to see if there was any notes. Shit. That's Dylan. Yeah, I figured. Can you hear me? Come on, Dylan. I'm here. I found you. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this to be true. Can you stop that? True. Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. 
Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you. We let you in. You've always been here. The only truth. A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. Stop copy. it! Orange peel. Shit. Shit. Love orange peel. You. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very I love how he goes back and forth from the his stuff. Ordinary. In the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And <laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for a pause, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will march out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. Pioneer worms of tune, you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 yeah. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. No regulations. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the Prime Candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. Give me the key card. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this light projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are a worm through time. There goes flowing again. Alright, see ya. What a wacky brother he is.